Cool. Okay, everybody. Hello again. Uh, we're going to do a few more problems in uh, writing a parametric equation for Cartesian equation. Uh, I had another problems, but I looked at the book and I like a couple of problems, so we want to do them here. This is number 25. Uh, they want us to write a parametric equations for this Cartesian equation. So the simplest way to do this, if you notice that y is a function of x, so you, if you let xt equal to t, and you substitute t for x um, into the given equation, so yt would be 3t, 3t squared plus 3. So you can write the parametric equation as xt is equal to t and yt Again, substitute t for x in here, so you get 3t squared plus 3. This is number uh, 25. Now the same question if we do for number 29, let's take a look. You have x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 equal to 1. Notice that this is an ellipse, isn't it? We just had an example. This is a square, and this is b square. Uh, a is 2, right? So you have 2 square, and this is 3 square. So that's an ellipse where you have um, the vertices are 2, 0, negative 2, 0, 0, 3, uh, 0, negative 3. So that's what you have here. Uh, it's going to look like uh, this is here 2, negative 2 and 2, and b is 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So there is an, your ellipse. Okay, now we're going to write this, um, how we can do this. Remember when we did x squared plus y squared? Uh, we did an example where x is equal to cosine t and y equal to sine t. Remember variation of x is equal to cosine t, y t. We did an example. If I can just look it up. Um, there it is. So a variation of sine t and cosine t. Remember, and we use the formula sine squared t plus cosine squared t equal to 1 to be able to write a Cartesian equation. Now we want to go backwards from here. We want to go back here. So xt and yt would be a variation of cosine and sine. So the way you can think about this is, you know, if you have xt is cosine t here, sine t, but cosine t here, it's stretched two units to the right and left, right? So two units uh, horizontally, up and down three units, right? So the way you can think about this is you can write this as uh, xt is two cosine t and yt is three sine t. Okay, you can check if that would work, remember? Uh, so you can try x squared plus y squared, what would you get? Or you can do uh, cosine t is equal to x over 2, isn't it? You solve for cosine t from here, and you solve sine t in here, what does that give you? Sine t is y over 3. So cosine squared t plus sine squared t is equal to 1. Cosine squared t is what? x over 2 squared. Remember we did, we did this already? This part we did when we went from uh, parametric equation to Cartesian. So here what we're doing, we are checking to see if this is correct. So you have cosine t is x over 2, and remember cosine squared t, so x over 2 squared, plus sine t y over 3 squared, 
and that will give me 1. So x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 equal to 1, and that's what I have. So these are the correct parametric uh, equations. Okay? I just wanted to check it in front of you to show you that this is what we have. How was I able to guess this is what we have? Remember, 2 square. So under the x, you have 4, which is 2 square. So it's stretch 2 units to the left and 2 units to the right horizontally. So that's why I put xt is 2 cosine t. And it's stretch y vertically 3 units, 3 up and 3 down. That's why I put here yt, 3 sine t. And we were able to check, and it was correct. Okay, so this is the correct um, uh, parametric equations. All right.